If you're watching this video, you probably have an old MacBook Pro and want to install Ubuntu on there. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step how to do that, whether you want to do a completely new rewrite of your hard drive, or if you want to have a partition like I do, this is the video for you. So let's get started. If you're new to my channel, I have a website at kevinwoodrobotics.com where I have a bunch of resources on robotics and computer vision. So check it out and subscribe to learn more. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and download the Ubuntu ISO image. So here I am at this website, ubuntu.com slash download slash desktop. Go ahead and choose the version that you want. Currently they have 24.04.1 LTS. And if you're looking for an older release, you want to go ahead and come to this website here, which is releases.ubuntu.com. And then here specifically, I'm interested in Jammy, which is the 22.04.5 LTS. But just go ahead and find the one that you want. Okay, so if you're using Windows like me, you're going to need to go ahead and download the Bellina Etcher software. So when you come to their website, go ahead and click on the Download Etcher. This is going to allow you to flash your USB drive with the ISO image that you just downloaded. So go ahead and make sure you prepare a USB drive. Typically, you want to go for at least 8 gigabytes just so that you make sure you have enough space. Otherwise, if it's too small, you can't fit your ISO image. So once you do that, go ahead and take your USB drive and plug it into your computer. And you want to go ahead and run the software that you just downloaded. What you want to do here is go ahead and select your ISO image here on the left. And in the middle, you want to select the USB drive that you've inserted. Make sure you select the right one so you don't flash something that you didn't intend to. And if you need to, you could probably also first uh, format your USB drive. So that's an optional step, but it's usually better to just format it. And then once you do that, go ahead and click on this flash, and it should be able to just uh, get your ISO image onto your USB drive. So this next part is only for people that want to create a partition on their Mac for their Ubuntu. If you want to do a complete overwrite, you could go ahead and skip the step that I'm about to go over right here. So. For those that need it, go ahead and open up your Mac. And you want to go under Disk Utilities, like you see here. You want to click on the Partition button. Once you do that, you want to click on Partition again. And you want to choose the amount of disk space that you want. And the format, I'm going to just choose MS-DOS uh, FAT, the FAT format. It's going to end up changing later on, so it's not going to matter too much. Let's go ahead and choose that and hit apply. Once you do that, go ahead and click on partition and you want to click continue. Then this will go through these steps here, which will kind of take a little bit of time. So just go ahead and wait until it finishes. But once this is done, then your partition should be ready to go. So now at this point, you want to go ahead and restart your Mac. Go ahead and insert the USB into the port here. And then you want to go ahead and restart and hit the option key. So when you do that, you're going to see this EFI boot show up. So this will allow you to boot into the USB drive. Then you're going to see this option here. You're going to go ahead and click on Try or Install Ubuntu, which is the first one. Go ahead and click Enter. You're going to see this screen next, which is the Ubuntu loading. Then you're going to go ahead and see this window where it'll prompt you to click on one of these two options, I'm going to choose the Install Ubuntu. Here it takes you to the keyboard layout. I'm using English. Choose the one that su that's suitable for you. And then here, go ahead and choose this option here. I went ahead and went with the normal installation. And then this other part, I chose the checkbox for Install Third-Party Software for Graphics and Wi-Fi Hardware. Let's go ahead and click Continue after that. So now this part is going to differ depending on which option you're interested in. So if you want to do a complete rewrite, you want to choose the first option. And if you want to do a partition like what I'll be showing here, go ahead and choose something else. So the complete rewrite is going to be more straightforward. Um, you should be able to just walk through the steps and do it the 
Other option, which is a partition, is a little bit trickier. So I'll be going more details into that part. So here, go ahead and choose this. So what you want to do is find the partition that you did. So here I have the, it's going to be the SDA3. And I know this because it's based on the size. I, I partitioned about 114 gigabytes. So go ahead and select that. And what you want to do is click on this change button. So this change is going to change it to an ext4 journaling file system. So go ahead and select that. Then you want to select the mount point. You're going to choose the forward slash. Then here you want to come down here and click on install now. So this will prompt you to this window. Go ahead and click continue. Then you're going to see this page of your location. Go ahead and choose your location. And then set up your name, your computer name, pick a username, and set up your password. Once you do that, you're going to see this window where it's going to take several minutes before it completes. Then finally, to actually upload and actually run your Ubuntu, go ahead and restart it and click on the Option button when you're restarting. Then it's going to be the EFI boot option. So go ahead and click on that. Once you do that, you should have Ubuntu up and ready to go. So hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.